I'm back. <laughs> Stick around. We're going to review this American whiskey. Looks like it's going to be a good one. Hey, welcome back, Whiskey Questers, to another episode of Whiskey Quest. For those of you that are new, my name's Antonio. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the channel. Hey, it's been a minute. I checked the uh, uh, the last uplo upload I did was a month ago, over a month ago. Holy moly, time passes by so fast. But hey, can't wait to dive into this one right here. All right, so this whiskey was donated to me by one of the Whiskey Dude's uh, friends. And a friend of the Whiskey Dude is a friend of mine. So Bart, you, you arrogant bastard. <laughs> I had to do it, I had to do it. Um, this right here, if you, can't, if you haven't guessed it by the title, this is Arrogant Bastard American Whiskey. Yep, that's right. If you guys are familiar with the, uh, the the beer that comes from Arrogant Bastard, they decided to collaborate with a distillery up in Ohio called Foundry Distilling Company. And what they did is uh, they sent the mash from their location in California, Southern California to be exact, and they ship it all the way out to uh, uh, Ohio. So it's unfermented. It's just their mash that they decide to go with. Uh, most likely something that they make their beer with. Because, if you, in case you didn't know, whiskey starts off as a beer. Yeah, that's right. Maybe not the best tasting beer. But hey, it's the same uh, uh, process from what I understand. So, yeah. So they send their mash. Uh, then the distilling company... They handle the whole fermenting it, distilling, and aging, and then they ship it back to uh, to the location that it came from, which in this case was from uh, Arrogant Bastard up in uh, California. So this one right here, the price, because it's extremely limited and mainly in Southern California, uh, will run you around uh, 120 to 150 dollars. That's right arrogant <laughs> uh, but i mean like i said it's uh it's a, a extremely small batch that they did and uh, uh they're very proud of it so i just wanted to come out here and review this uh especially for bart since he gave me this uh, a while back but like you, you know i've been pretty busy pretty busy but things are already getting lighter so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to come back slowly but surely because you gotta get in the groove guys you gotta get in the groove so too much talking there that are already signs that I'm uh, uh, a little bit nervous to be back in front of the camera but hey gotta do it gotta do it so this is uh, bottled at 48.5 percent ABV 97 proof so you know they could have given us 40 percent but they said nope they gave us a nice uh, a nice decent proof uh, the release for this was back in April 2020 uh, 2021 and this was aged for only two years and two months in 30 gallon new chart American oak so pretty young you know something a lot of people lift their noses up to something that's young but you never know you know it's just let's give it a try but two years 120 150 dollars let's find out all right so Let's see what two years did to this whiskey right here. Like I said, it's an American whiskey. If it was bourbon, definitely no color to add, add it to it. But American whiskey, I'm, I, I want to say no, but I'm not too sure. I should have looked that up. But you know what? Put it right here. Ha! But yeah, nice golden honey looking kind of color. Pretty nice color, guys. Come on. Let's see, those legs are coming down. Hey, it's sticking to the glass. You know what, I believe, uh, I wanna say I saw this on their website, but it might be uh, on chill filter, these also. So that might explain those legs coming down pretty slow. All right, on the nose. 
wow i was expecting a lot like a lot of uh, uh alcohol coming out but tons of citrus wet oak yeah i love getting wet oak it just reminds me of walking through like like a, a lumber yard after it's rained you know bit earthy as well so yeah it's exactly like walking through a lumber yard some hints of chocolate and toffee in the in the hidden in the background orange citrus yeah that's coming out a little bit more but not much else is going on not right now at least does smell like it's gonna have like a bit of a, a dry kind of mouthfeel but hey Let's find out. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Bart. Thanks for giving me this sample right here to try. Cheers. Wow. Wow. That packs a punch of flavor. All right. At first, it's sitting on my tongue going around. Nothing much happening. Like I said, it was, I was, I knew it was going to have like a drying sensation and it was starting to dry my palate. So I started swallowing it. And as soon as my saliva started mingling around there more, those flavors just popped out tons of cinnamon spice with that orange flavor. Lots of oak coming out on this. That's, that's pretty interesting for only two years and two months. One more sip. Hmm. That maybe because it was in a thirty-gallon uh, barrel, but it really picked up a good amount of char, to the point where it reminded me of my old smoking days, for sure. So. Man, yeah, tons and tons of char, cigarette kind of flavor. I like it. I like it, guys. What can I say? Um, yeah, that orange. I think the orange is what's lingering the most at the end. A little bit of sugar, so maybe like a, let's see, like a burnt charred orange with some sugar sprinkled on it. It's probably what you would get. Yeah, a little bit of chocolate developing towards the end. So it's got a nice medium uh, finish. I, it, wow. I wasn't I wasn't expecting like a whole lot, but the whiskey dude told me that hey, it, it blew them away. So I was like, OK, let's find out. And yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's a uh, man. It's pretty good. I'm definitely adding a drop of water to this and see what happens. I'm going to add a, a generous amount right here. So, yeah. So, yeah. If you guys are planning on picking this up, you know, unfortunately, uh, uh, since it's distributed through them, I, it's more available in Southern California. But if you're in the area, you know, somebody that's in the area and it's something you want to try and spend the money on, so far, uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> So <laughs> it's hard to say, but <laughs> I wish I didn't know the price when I do these, you know, because then it would be like, wow, I would definitely pay whatever it is. But <clears throat> that's a little steep for me. And mm, it's hard. It's a hard one, guys. It's definitely good, though. It's definitely good. So I don't know. It's, it's up to you guys. If you guys want to spend the money on something like that. Uh, the bottle, actually, <laughs> I think it looks pretty awesome and I'm, I'm like a in the graphic designing kind of background so when i see a label that stands out it just calls me as i'm like hey you know but let's see what it does with water and maybe it'll change my mind there cheers everybody yeah more honey coming out this time that orange is still there more <clears throat> it's reminding me of those um candied orange slices less oak so everything's more 
like coming together as if before something like that orange was really sticking out. All right, let's see what we get in the palette. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, with water, it held up pretty nicely. It's just everything just got mellow. Instead of being like this, this arrogant bastard is like punching you, like, come on, well, <laughs> oh, you put some water in it and it's all like, you know, all right, all right, let's, let's be friends. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, it's lingering. Now I'm getting like a nice minty uh, flavor going on. You know, if this was 80 bucks, I would definitely uh, wouldn't mind picking it up. 120 to 150, that's a different ball game. But hey, I'll leave it up to you guys. It's definitely a good one to pick up. If you like trying different things and having different uh, uh, bottles in your collection, <laughs> then uh, yeah, go for it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's just a matter if you have the money or not, right? So that's it for the review, guys. I think you guys heard my decision right here. Pick it up if you can, if you want. If you want to try something new, it's, it's definitely great. I don't think I've seen any reviews on, um, on YouTube on this, so too bad it's super limited. <laughs> All right, guys, that's enough for today. I got to go. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and uh, yeah, I got tons and tons of stuff that I got to get back to over here and uh, some of them have been sitting there for quite a while, which is not cool because yeah, I need to open a few bottles. This one's pretty anxious to open. <laughs> it, it, they probably have a new release coming by now, but let's give it a try. All right. Again, if you like this video, don't like... Don't <laughs> All right, so if you guys like this video, please make sure to give me a like, share with your friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.